Hey to family, how's everyone doing? I hope everyone's having a great day. I am up bright early, looking like I just woke up. I did, but I took a shower and everything, so don't worry. Because I'm on my way to the Essence Carnival with Natural Annie Essentials. I'm really excited about that. So I decided to get up extra, extra, extra early to have enough time so it'll get ready with me. And just to talk to you guys while I get ready to go to this wonderful major event. I don't have much time because even though I got up early, I was doing extra nonsense. <laughs> so let me just get right into it. So all of my new subscribers, welcome. Thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate it. For everyone that's watched this video for the first time, if you're interested, you know, the subscription button is somewhere. You can click it. <laughs> Enjoy. And to all my old timers, my day one supporters, my few month supporters, I really appreciate it. Thank you so very much. Let's start getting ready. First off, I won't go into detail about all the products I'm wearing because it's a quick get ready. But I'll mention some things here and there. You know how I talk. Let's start with this on my face, you know, because the bags, <laughs> the under eye darkness. These um, eye, pa eye masks are from Green Beauty For Us. You know, I stand for Green Beauty For Us. These masks are definitely, this is what I wear like, you know, on days where I need it extra boost, my under eyes look brighter, just to not look like I'm still sleeping with the dark circles. Yes, yeah, so I've been wearing these for a while now, and I'm about to peel it off. Let's do the big reveal together. First of all, my lips are chapped, so let's put on some natural anti essentials lip balm so that I don't got they with musty, crusty lips. <laughs> Feels good. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Mm. Face is looking like I'm ready to go. Just like this. <laughs> so let's talk. I am super duper excited to be going to this event, you guys. I'm a little bit nervous at the same time because. I think I'm more excited than nervous though, but just so you know when you know somebody through the internet and just meeting them for the first time, in a way it's a little bit nerve wracking for me. And at the same time, it's like you guys who follow me for my beauty and you know makeup videos, in real life, like I think maybe you guys expect me to come with like a whole beat face, eyebrows, eyeshadow, eyeshadow down a whole look. But in real life, my everyday life, I have a basic face, basic makeup. So it's like, the challenge is always, oh, by the way, the foundation I'm wearing today is, you know, the favorite, Laws of Nature, Queen Minerals Foundation in the shade Chestnut, the matte, the matte formula. I stand by this, by the die. On days where I'm going to be out all day, that's where I, I run to. But anyway. The debacle begins where it's like, do I do my basic everyday face? Because that's what I'm used to. That's what, I'm, that's what I feel more comfortable in. On a regular basis. Or do I, like, you know, kind of give you guys what you want. And do a whole eyeshadow look and all of that stuff. You know, so I think about that. Because, like, I do eyeshadow looks. But you guys probably never see them person because... I just feel more comfortable with a basic face. It's just me. It's weird. I know all the other beauty gurus. Well, I'm not a beauty guru. I just try stuff <laughs> and have fun with it. But they come like, you know, eyeshadow down. And I'm like, I hope I don't disappoint, you know? I hope I don't disappoint anyone just coming with just nothing up, nothing on the eyes. Mascara, though. I will be mascara down. Maybe false lashes if I'm really, really feeling it. But other than that... Mm, nothing else. Nothing else. So that's always a debate. And knowing me, I usually go for my basic looks because that's why I feel more comfortable. And when I'm comfortable, I interact with you guys better. So if you guys are coming today and you guys see me at Pier 36 with Natural Annie Essentials, or if you guys see me at any other event, just know that I will not be coming with a full beat. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section if that's a disappointment to y'all or what y'all think about that. I usually spend a lot of time rubbing in my foundation, you guys. I don't know why, but it has to be rubbed in, blended in 
really precisely. Now I'm going in with my new favorite concealer actually to be honest. I've been using this, I think it's almost done. This is the Pacifica um, full coverage liquid cover concealer and I wear the shade 05, no I'm sorry, 5WT. And since I've gotten it, I have consistently stuck to it every single day. Not even exaggerating. This is literally my new favorite concealer. I gotta make sure I don't over Like sometimes when I'm going out to events, I tend to overdo it. So I have to remember, you know, don't overdo it, girl. You're doing too much. I get nervous and I want to make sure the look looks perfect. So I overdo it with everything. But I'm trying to just stick to my basic routine because I know it lasts all day. And don't overdo it. As I keep telling myself, don't overdo it. If you guys don't understand the struggle, I just went through trying to make sure my eyeliner and my wing is good because I love a wing. I do. I like a really good, nice, sharp wing. And I it just wasn't happening this morning. It really was. So I literally just struggled. I struggled so much I had to turn the camera off because I'm like, we're not embarrassed myself, my camera. It was getting embarrassing. I think it's because I'm nervous and I want to make sure it's perfect. But I had to turn the camera off because I was not about to embarrass myself on camera. Try and do this wing. Can I imagine a big time embarrassment? But I think it's pretty good. And it's the best I can do right now. So, Essence Beauty Carnival, Natural Annie Essentials. Everybody else that's gonna be there, my supporters, my subscribers, whoever's gonna be there, you're gonna get whatever eyeliner I give you. And this is what you're getting today. Oh, yeah, I hope you guys haven't enjoyed my plant videos lately. I have really taken up a passion with plants. Like I've said many times before, I really have, I love, love, love plants. I honestly love plants. And for many years I've loved them, but I could not care for them because I don't know, I just never felt like I had a green thumb. And every plant I would not buy dead. I would just kill plants left, right, and center. I used to kill so many plants, air plants, Easy plants like pothos, air plants, easy plants like that. I'm killing them. But now I really am dedicated to just doing my best and getting a handle on the plants. And I've created a nice collection in my home. And I think I've slowed down with buying more plants now because once I realize I can take care of the plants and I create a routine and a system, I started buying, buying plants. I stocked up. But at the same time, I did not want to overdo it where I could not take care of them properly because I know I have a busy schedule and a busy life. So at the same time, even though I stocked up, now I'm slowing down. Because I'm at a point where I can take care of them and I'm fine. But I don't want to reach a point where it's too much, you know? And then I end up back in the situation where I was, where I'm, I'm killing plants. But yeah, my home is filled with plants now and I'm so happy. There's such a fulfilling, rewarding feeling a fulfilling re rewarding life you know and I love sharing that with you guys and I do want to share more but I always don't I don't really have the time to record as much as I used to as you guys know but it just feels so good to take care of plants I am learning so much about them and I will do a plant tour to update you guys on how many plants I have it's not going to be like, you know, it's not crazy cluttered because I don't like crazy cluttered plants. I don't like anything crazy cluttered. I'm not a cluttered person. I like everything to be nice and neat and not too much of anything. But I think right now I would say I have over 60 plants maybe. And that's a good number for me. Maybe over time, once I master like really, really good taking care of these ones and I have more time, I would add more to my collection. But at the same time, I don't want to add too much where it clutters my space because that's a big deal to me. My space can't feel cluttered with too many things because I feel like I'm suffocating and the plants are not going to live. That's when I start neglecting them because I feel like they suffocated me. But I really hope you guys have been enjoying the plant content. I hope it inspired you guys. If you guys are interested in ever purchasing plants but not sure how to take care of them, I really hope if a plant killer like me can have over 60 plants now, then I hope you can't. You guys can as well. Can the concealers blended? Because I make sure one thing about me is you can't say it. I make sure the concealers are blended. I will sit here and pound and pound until it is blended. I think we're good though, right? <laughs> My face is taking a beating. I think we're good. 
And once again, you guys, um, I don't set my concealer. I know it's probably strange to hear, but I don't set my concealer. I used to do it a long time ago, and I don't know why one day I did it, and I my face turned out, I liked the way it looked. It didn't, it just looked better to me. So ever since, oh, I'm exposing a lot. Ever since then, I stopped setting my concealer, and I've never looked back. I just make sure it blends out really good, and it holds for the entire day. I guess it also depends on which concealer I'm using, because before the Pacific concealer, I was using the, um, the... Shea Moisture Concealer, and I love that one. Loved it. I, th I still think it's my favorite. Sorry, my son is upstairs making a noise. But it's just, they discontinued it. And I think Shea Moisture discontinued the entire makeup line, cosmetic line. Like right now, I'm using their bronzer, and I'm pit pan. It's basically done. This is a Shea Moisture bronzer. It's my favorite. And I'm just working with it until it's done, because they don't have it anymore. And that's really disappointing. Some of their products were whack. I'm not going to lie to you. Like Some things were just... No, but the concealer and this bronzer here were everything to me. You hear that? This is what happens when you tell your husband you gotta go somewhere and you ask him to make breakfast. You hear, you hear the rumbling in the kitchen, you hear it, right? That, right? <laughs> That's what happens. All that rumbling in the kitchen. So the bronzer, you guys can't, probably can't see it that much, but it, it does a little something, something for me when I'm outside in natural light. I love this bronzer. It's not too heavy, but it's just, just the right amount of bronzing. I mean, how much bronzer can I get? I don't know, but it's just the right amount for me. Let's add some highlight. I'm going to be using the Jackie Ina Le Bronze highlight this time because... Like I said, I'm going to stick to the products that I know work for me. I don't want to try anything new. Or either I use the Jackie Ina bronzer or I actually love my Brown Leaf Cosmetics, not bronzer. Here, highlighter. Or the Brown Leaf Cosmetics highlighter. I switch back and forth between those two. But today, we're doing it up with Jackie Ina. I like the face and I'm gonna pile on the highlighter today because I feel like I need extra in that department just for the highlight <laughs> and it's gonna be a really cloudy day so you know I gotta I gotta brighten it up I have to be the one to brighten up the look and I still don't know what I'm going to wear you guys that is a challenge I know I definitely want to be comfortable because I believe I'm gonna be on my feet all day and I want to walk around and be comfortable so definitely not heels I'm gonna go with my short 5'5 five five self. So no heels, but at the same time, I want to, I don't know if I should wear, I was gonna wear a skirt or a dress, but the way the weather is set up, so no. But I don't know what color jeans to wear, like me. I want to go and represent the natural and essential brands, brand as much as possible. So I was thinking bright, vibrant color because her aesthetic is really bright, vibrant, island vibes, bright, shocking color. But at the same time, I just want to wear all black <laughs> with a pop of color in my jewelry. So I don't know yet. I have no idea what to wear. So that will be the next task to figure out. But you know, just all black is make you feel just comfortable. But I also feel comfortable wearing a lot of colors because I do like colors. So wearing colors does not scare me. I do feel quite comfortable wearing a lot of colors. So I am a very colorful person. After I add the highlight, weirdly enough, this is the part where I set my face and then I continue my makeup afterwards. I don't do the mascara and all that before because once I set my face, I've learned with the whatever mist I'm using, it, my sometimes my mascara or my under eyeliner tends to run, so I stop doing that. So right now, when all this is done, this is the basic, I set my face and then I go in and I touch up my eyebrows with the powder because I don't want that to run. I do my mascara and I do my under eyeliner because I don't want that to run. So. I'm using the Pacifica Pineapple Flower Oil Free Matte Mist to set my face. Y'all remember a few minutes ago when I said I didn't want to be too extra? I, I lied. So I decided I'm going to wear lashes. So now I'm just going to touch up my eyebrows while the lash glue dries. And I'm going to try to... Ooh, this is too dark. 
Oh, I'm using, this is a Shea Moisture Black Eyeshadow. I just use it to touch up my eyebrow just a little bit nowadays. Just to shade in it for a little bit of color. And that's usually about it. Just a little bit. I just shade in. I shade it more towards the end and leave the front as natural as possible. Not too much. Because it is a dark black color. So I don't want my, you know, eyebrows to look too scary. You know, like that. It's so like a little natural, a little natural tease, if you must say. Y'all hear the pots upstairs? Y'all hear the pots, right? He's still, he's still doing that. Like, he's making oatmeal. Oatmeal. Just oatmeal. Like he's cooking a whole 10 course meal. Just oatmeal. Let me not complain. I'm thankful he's helping me. You know? See? That's it for the brows. See? A little natural, a little sun sun. These eyelashes were not having it. Oh my gosh. I had to turn the camera off again. Couldn't embarrass myself. Took me a while to get them on. I'm hoping they stay on all day and don't blow up and embarrass me because that would be something, right? Can you imagine I'm there having a good time? Candles, natural anti-essentials all around. Smelling good. People there. People performing. Stages right there. You guys are interacting with me and the eyelash fall off. Girl, it will be all over social media. So right now I'm just tweaking the eyebrows just a little bit. This is something extra again. I usually don't do this on my everyday. But for the eyebrows and the eyelashes, I'm doing a little bit extra, extra. Yeah, and this is the kind of look that I go for. Just a nice clean skin for my everyday look. Just nice and clean, nothing too crazy. Now the next challenge is the lips. I should I go with a bold lip or a neutral lip? I don't know. I don't know. I used to love a good bold lip, but now I'm just, I don't know if it's age, and I'm not even that old. I'm not that old, so I'll try it. I don't know if it's age or what it is, but I've just, in a way I've calmed down with certain things with my makeup. I don't do too extra, but I'm still extra at heart like it's just me life in, i'm just extra all the way in my life in general i'm just an extra person so don't get it twisted i'm still extra extra af for the lips this is usually my ride or die anyway because i feel like if i wear my ride or die everyday products then i like i said i'm gonna be more comfortable so this almost done almost done but don't worry i have let me show you i have another one just waiting yeah another fresh one on deck <laughs> Just waited. This is a Coral Crush from Red Apple Lipsticks. And I just apply it to the center with a brown lip liner. It's a nice coral color. It's a little bit of color to my lips. And then I just put that brown lip liner. Any brown lip liner you want to put. That, ladies and gentlemen, is it took the hair down and as you guys know as you guys already know I don't really do anything to my hair this is it I curl it once a week or once every two weeks and that's it nothing else happens to my hair so this is the look hopefully y'all pray for me these lashes stay on all day basic simple glowy healthy skin look I know what you guys think now let me hurry up and get ready and figure out what to wear I'm gonna try and see if I can take the camera with you guys to vlog but I might be so busy, I might not be able to vlog. So we'll see. But wish me luck. Hopefully I can do it. But this is the look. And if this if this is the end of the video, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. I hope you guys... Um, follow, you know what? If I don't get to vlog, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I usually do my Instagram stories. So on Instagram, if you guys are following me at Kai Journey, I know it's too late now, but when I go to other events, I usually keep up to date more on Instagram because I can just, you know, bust out the phone and just show you something quick so instagram is the way to go but if this is not the end of the video then stay tuned but if this is the end of the video thank you guys for watching have a great day and don't forget to i don't know do something with your life be amazing be great <laughs> go out enjoy life and don't be cocooned in the house go out there and explore life and that's it let me go because i'm just rambling on Bye.